Welcome back, Tangerides. We have something super exciting in store for you guys today. Ron Bell, oh, yes. yes! It's rumored that you get like 20 bucks in free slot play, but we'll find out when we get there. So what is our secret for gambling without actually gambling? <laughs> this is really cool. I want to tell you exactly how you can increase your casino comps a lot without increasing your gambling budget at all. It's the best buffet that we've ever tried on the entire strip. Cheers! Cheers. This video is actually part of a larger Las Vegas series where we focus on how to save tons of money while also having an amazing time in Las Vegas. We did a video similar to this before, but it was taking $50 each. This time we're upping our budget a little bit and we're taking $75 each or $150 total to spend on everything for the day. That's, everything. That's hotel, resort fee, all our tips, transportation, food, drinks, entertainment, gambling. legitimately the fanciest teas I've ever seen yeah, in my life. No they come in their own little pyramid and then the tea bag itself is shaped like a pyramid. Wow, so nice. So our stay at the Wynn this time got upgraded due to a problem that we had last time that we stayed here. So we ended up getting a Tower Suites room card, which has a lot of cool benefits, including this luxury, amazing coffee that they serve. A great way to start the day. Get your cup of joe or your cup of tea and get the energy you need to have. So much fun. So we stayed at the Wynn for the last three nights and this is actually our third free stay here through the Wynn Slots app. But this time it wasn't actually free because they switched things up a little bit. We had to pay $15 to qualify to book this stay. So for each night it was five bucks. So we're marking five bucks off for that and the resort fees we're free, no resort fees through the Winslots app. And we also left $5 for housekeeping because they do such an amazing job. Elevator dance in the elevator. I bet she stops if someone else comes up. I bet Joe right. <laughs> In case you're wondering why on earth do we have our luggage, we had the opportunity to stay at Cosmo for free based on our play last time we were here. And so we were finally able to take advantage of that with the dates that they had available. But I'll tell you what, this is our third stay at the Wynn and I said in our previous video that I thought I was a little bit disappointed for the cost, but the more I stay at the Wynn, the more I love it here. Mm -hmm. I, I think my views have totally changed. I think this place is amazing. After tip, our Uber ride to the Cosmo was $8. We just had to drop our bags off with Bellhop and now we're heading to breakfast, which I'm super stoked about because my stomach sounds yeah. like a lion. <laughs> That's not to... what a lion sounds like. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> So this place that we're going is about a 20 minute walk from Cosmopolitan. I think it's gonna be totally worth it because it's cheap, highly recommended by people who know this like local secret. If you're wondering why we're all bundled up and you're watching this later, it's because it's January <laughs> and it's kind of brisk here. It's uh, like 45 degrees maybe. We are at Ellis Island, which is one of the cheapest places near the Strip to get some food. And if you're staying at Bally's or Paris or Planet Hollywood, somewhere mid-Strip like that, it's only gonna be like a 10 minute walk for you to get here. This cheap breakfast trick is going slightly off the strip to Ellis Island, going to their cafe, and before 11, you can get steak and eggs. Eggs, and then an eight ounce sirloin steak, and then potatoes for $6.99. So I just had my first bite of steak, and it is really good. I was kind of expecting lower be, quality. I was expecting it to be tough, but it's mm -hmm. be easy to chew. And this is a ton of food yeah, for $6.99. so much food. <laughs> I am totally stuffed after that meal. After about a 
30% tip. It came to $19 total for the two of us. So now I would like to head back to the strip so we can do a little gambling. Maybe I can get myself a Bailey's and coffee or something like that. All right, let's go. So whenever we come to Vegas, we always have to come check out the conservatory at Bellagio. We missed the Christmas display by just a few days, but this is the Chinese New Year one, and they have five different displays a year, so pretty much every time we come, it's different. walking right underneath. This is really cool, trippy. <laughs> I think this is my favorite Chinese New Year edition that I've seen. And we've seen what, like three at least at this point? I'm guessing in my lifetime I've seen at least five, but I'm not sure. I'm just always impressed when we come here because it's different types of art installations, different flowers, and usually they're really exotic looking flowers, and just lots to see, and plenty of places to take a picture, so you know, it's totally free. How could you not come here? So now we're gonna go ahead and try to check in at the Cosmopolitans, but after that, we're going to show you our latest trick for gambling, gambling without actually gambling, to be able to get free drinks while sitting there playing and not lose money in the process. Would you guys like any water right now while we're checking? Sure. Sure, that'd be great. Thank you. And your Marriott status on here as well. Okay. Now, what was this back? Just vacation or business? It's his birthday. It's your birthday? Yeah. What are you, what are you 22? That's <laughs> 32. <laughs> Seven directions are headed? Yep, yeah, we're all set. Thanks. Thank you. you guys have a good day. Enjoy. Here we go. Alright. Hello. Oh. Oh la la. Oh, this is fancy. This is too high for me. Mm. Wow, this is awesome! So, what can we see here? This is the other Cosmopolitan Tower. That's Aria, and you have Arc MGM, Bellagio, Bellagio and Caesars. And we have a lovely view of the parking garage <laughs> and the tops of these buildings over here. You can see the giant air conditioners. This, the rather large. <laughs> this inside joke that we have, they have these Japanese soaking tubs, I think they're called, but we just do a different alliteration every time we refer to it, like a Taiwanese tickling tub, or um, any silly thing that we come up with, the more drinks, the better they get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is our secret for gambling without actually gambling? Well, it's sitting here at the bubble craps machine. This is actually a very complicated game, and there are lots of bets you can make, and tons of rules. It takes the dealers years and years and years to train to be actual dealers on the table, but there is a way to make it a little bit more simple, and you don't have to know all the bets you can make to be able to play our strategy. All right, so in quite a few of our Vegas videos, we got lots of comments of people saying, hey, if you don't want to lose much money, but you want to get free drinks while gambling, just play roulette and have one bet on red and one on black, and then as long as it doesn't hit green, you're good. So you'll hit green occasionally and then you'll lose some money then. But even better than that, in fact, way, way better than that in terms of the odds and the pace of play for the game is to play craps. And one of us bets the pass line, the other one of us bets the don't pass line. That makes the odds like four times better than doing the same strategy on roulette. And the game goes a lot slower, so you lose far less money. So essentially, you're only going to lose once every 36 rounds between two people. That's not that much money to lose, and it's not going to happen very often. Every round could maybe take 15 or 20 minutes, depending on how many times you roll. So this is a pretty good strategy to get lots of free drinks without actually losing tons of money. Granted, 
this this strategy has zero chance of winning money. You can't win anything. You can only lose, but you won't lose very much at all. But we come to Cosmopolitan, they have some of the best drinks on the strip. These would seriously be like $15, maybe 20 bucks a piece if we had to buy them at a bar. Push the button. Okay, so we played bubble craps for about an hour. You got three free drinks, I got two free drinks, and we tipped a dollar for each one of those. Uh, and By you were, some miracle, we got out of there unscathed. Yeah, then, you were up 40, I was down 40, so totally even. Even, and, and that's, never hit a 12, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't hit, this is gonna get into like, Crap lingo, but as long as you don't hit double six on the come out roll, you lose nothing. Did we not tell you guys? Tomorrow is Jordan's birthday, birthday, birthday. So after those three delightful drinks, first Banyo, next birthday shenanigans. Are you taking them in there with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> watching our video hopefully you're liking it so far if you are please consider subscribing to our channel to see more videos that we release about Las Vegas and also our life in Mexico and travels around the world I want to tell you exactly how you can increase your casino comps a lot without increasing your gambling budget at all so how is that done let's say you have a budget of hundred dollars a day and you're like I'm gonna go spend $25 at win oh now I'm gonna walk over to Venetia and spend $25 there. Then I'm gonna to go to Mirage and spend $25 there. And then I'll hop on over to the Cromwell and spend $25 there. And then I'll do that again tomorrow and again the next day. And then by the end, they'll be like, oh, I'm such a good customer. Well, you're not gonna get anything doing that. So instead, take your $100 and spend the entire day playing at Mirage with that $100. And of course, you always have your player's card in the machine. Then the next day, take your $100 and go to Harrah's or the Cromwell or wherever you wanna go and spend the entire $100 there. Then the next day, go to Venetian and spend the entire $100 there. By the end of your trip, you're going to have offers from every one of these hotels. But if you do it the way where you go $25 at each property, you're going to have offers from nobody. And why is that? That's because the casinos take something called your average daily theoretical loss. They're looking at your play and they're like, okay, how much can we expect to earn from this guy or this lady if we invite them to our casino? If you're someone who's spending $25 a day at a casino, they're like, that's not enough to cover a room. We'll send them a discounted room offer, but we can't give them any more than that. But if you're spending more money, like you concentrated in one property, you're increasing your average daily theoretical or what they call ADT, maybe four times. So you're in their eyes, a four times better customer without increasing your gambling budget at all. And to that point, let's say you go to Cromwell and you spend $100, and you go to Venetian and you spend $100 another day, and then you go to another hotel and spend another $100 on gambling another day. Well then, uh, it's your last day and you're like, oh, I just want a casino hop today. I'm gonna go to Cromwell and spend $5. I'm gonna go to Venetian and spend $5. If you want to do that, don't put your card in the machine. You're going to ruin your offers that you're gonna get. So there's some stuff that you can do on this trip and get for free, like free slot play, free food, things like that. So where are we going first? We are going to Park MGM where it's rumored that you get like 20 bucks in free slot play, but we'll find out when we get there. And I think it has to be within one week of your birthday for these MGM resorts. And to get to Park MGM, we're going to walk through the crystal shops at Aria, which smells so good, like vanilla and happiness. And speaking of happiness, they even still have a Christmas tree up. Holy, this Christmas tree is gigantic. Do you think it's real? gotta be. From what other planet forest do you get this giant tree from? Okay, upon further reflection, it's probably not real and it has like a very structured interior and it's a little bit too perfect, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, considering the poles in the middle, the metal <laughs> poles in the middle but instead of a tree trunk, it's nice I'm to guessing that it's not real. It's nice to think it's a real tree though. Keep the spirit alive, Jordan. <laughs> 
Oh, what a stand. Maybe there's... Well, I guess I gotta walk. I am in a Fitbit step challenge and I plan to crush it. I plan to defeat them all. Mom, Dad, watch out. <laughs> this is funny. So Jordan decided to take the uh, elevator up and I just saw him on the other platform, which is not the one that's running this way. So now he's heading back down the elevator and we should see him here right about now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the joke's on me because this tram actually went to Bellagio first, which is the opposite direction that we wanted to go. But now we are back again at the shops at Crystal, heading towards Aria and MGM, where we want to go. This was a poor decision to take the tram. We would have been to Park MGM. <laughs> Notice that when it's really bright, you only ever close one eye. You have like a favored eye. Mine's my right eye. I've never noticed that. I think you will now. It's probably the case though. I think you will now. Well, on my birthday, I was wondering if you had that uh, free play on your birthday here. Yeah, do you have a play card of this? I do. There you go. All right, thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. Happy birthday, man. Thanks. So that was super easy. I just asked if they do anything for your birthday. They are like, yeah, $25 free play on your card. And they, then he said, if you go to the Luxor and Excalibur, they'll give you 20 bucks there as well. We're walking through the whole casino right now because we have to find the luckiest game. And Jordan is on the hunt that the birthday boy knows. I'm looking for a spinner wheel. Oh, a spinner wheel, my favorite. I have $25 in free play in the machine, but it wants me to put money in first. So, just enough to cover the first bet. All right, we're looking for an instant spin. Come on, oh, Bell. Yes. yes! Good start, 40. Okay, lovely, love it. 40 yeah. credits, not dollars. So, $10. Is it, is it a finger? Yay, I love the old budget ones like this. All right, and then I can Does see. Or is that just five because it's that, That's just giving me my money back okay. because of the free play. Come on. Spinner wheel. I put $5 in, ended with $35. So that means I turn my 25 of free play and do $30 cash. Win a win a chicken dinner. <laughs> All right, we just need to find the M Life desk to get that twenty dollars loaded onto my card. Hi. Do you do the birthday free play here? Sweet. Yeah. And then I can come every day and get it right. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I found machines just like uh, at Park MGM, and there's four of them in this bay. So I'm picking the one with the highest progressive jackpot, which is always a smart play since they all have the same odds most likely except for one has a higher jackpot so let's hope this goes as well as last time hit bet three it's not even letting what the hell so this time i ended up getting a jacked up machine that wouldn't even let me bet max bet so i was able to bet four credits but not five which was weird but i turned my ticket, $31.75, I had $5 in the machine. So that means I turned the $20 of free play into $26.75, so got lucky again. Last time we made a video like this, we did a bunch of stuff that we get with our diamond status at Caesars. We got a whole bunch of comments saying, oh, you can't do this unless you're diamond. Well, we also showed you how to get diamond for almost nothing, but I assure you, you can do it if you're not diamond, and we've in this video, we're not going to do anything, I don't think, that requires you to be diamond. But I know we're going to get comments, oh, well, you just were able to do this because it's your birthday. No, we do this every single trip. It just happens to be my birthday this trip. <laughs> so. Well, and if we weren't doing a birthday thing, like at Park MGM, you would have the free play that you would get with My Vegas. Yeah, for and, instance. and that's what we would have done. So there's like more than one way to skin a cat. This is all just a promo to watch our other videos to find out all these other tricks because Pretty much. we like really don't pay a whole lot when we come to Vegas. Why do you think we come so often. So we're just trying to help you guys have that same experience. Yeah, I don't mean to lecture you. <laughs> you seemed like it. <laughs> I know we're gonna get 
comments that say this. I'm sorry. <laughs> you kids get out of my yard. <laughs> So it's not very often that someone's going to tell you to go to Luxor because as a hotel, it's not one of the nicer ones. And as a casino, I don't think anything special either. But on the inside, it is still pretty cool to look at the design of it. Yeah, on the, and, on the level above where we're at right uh, now, where you can see the whole pyramid. And the Sphinx that they have out front and everything like that. So if you're on this side, I mean, you might as well pop in. Have you noticed that there's something about Vegas? It's more fun when you're winning. Yeah, it's so much more fun. What a weird phenomenon that is when you're making money. It's like, woo. You know, there, there's some trips where it's just like win, 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 and then there's others where we can't catch a break at all. This one has been like a mix of, okay, have a nice win, then lose, win, lose. I don't so. mostly lose, <laughs> no. <laughs> but during this, as long as we're recording, we've been winning, so. So maybe that's, that's good. the key, just bring you along, and then it's like win, win, win. Okay, playing with the house's money, so we're gonna do three dollars a spin here. Much bigger than we normally gamble. Come on, wheel, wheel. Oh uh, yeah, do it. Oh no. They say go big or go home. We went big, and now we're going home because we lost. We turned the twenty dollars into four dollars. But hey, that's four dollars more than we walked in with. incredible view of the strip you can come to the 107 sky lounge at the strat and you can pay a bunch of money to go up to the top of the strat or you can come here and get basically the same view for free it is a two drink minimum but if you come from four to seven any day of the week the drinks are half price cheers cheers so I just asked our waitress about the drink limit and she told us that we only need to get one drink each to stay here, but it's two drink minimum if you want to go up. Apparently there's two floors above this that we can access as long as we each get two drinks. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of magical and we're just catching the tail end of sunset and it's still these like beautiful silhouettes of the mountains with like ombre gradient sunset colors. Also, I didn't realize this, but the restaurant down below is spinning. So if you're there for, I would assume, I don't know, like an hour, two hours maybe, because it's spinning really slowly, you could see an entire 360 view. We ended up getting two drinks each, so four drinks after tip, it was just over $40. So 10 bucks a drink after tip, pretty reasonable for this view, I think. But right now we just went up a level to floor 108, and you can actually see downtown. In addition to the entire city. Then the whole the thing. The whole city. Like we walk around to the other side and you can see the whole strip. Now we went up some stairs and we're on level 109 outside, all included in the price of buying a couple drinks. I think they charge something like 20 bucks a person to get up here. I'm not get sure. Get drinks, I mean, on happy hour. That's like, what a deal. <laughs> yeah, but what a view and you can feel the breeze. We're outside now. Yeah, you can feel the breeze. It's freezing. Cause Come it's in. like 40 degrees right now. <laughs> <laughs> But you can see the whole strip. This is so cool. And you can also see people freaking out, being shot up the shot off this like roller coaster thingy that like pushes you off to make you think you're gonna die. But they don't let you. People actually pay to do this. This girl goes, holy fuck, don't look the fuck down. <laughs> I've gotta be sick, I've gotta be sick, she says. <laughs> yeah, the crazy thing is that doesn't scare me. Neither does the high thing over here or the bungee jumping. Like, so my ancestors did not die by height. Jordan's oh my gosh, you're looking down as it goes out further. Oh, heck no. So this is so, 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 so far down on the strip, but I feel like this was worth it and not the most expensive prices ever. <laughs> Once again, back at the win. Did I see this coming? I'm not sure. 
I am so excited for this buffet. We've now had it three times on this trip and it is our favorite that we've tried on this trip, even better than Bacchanal. Yes, and um, the dinner buffet, I'm pretty sure that first time we tried it, I died and went to buffet heaven. It's the best buffet that we've ever tried on the entire trip, bar none. dinner buffet on Saturday and since we had a Tower Suites card we were able to just go right into the Tower Suites line which there was no line and the regular line was huge we probably would have been waiting for an hour so this can be a big deal sometimes but today's Monday and we didn't need it. We gotta stuff our face now. So hope bye. <laughs> I can't say I had a single dish that I wasn't like oh my gosh this is so good. How's yours? Oh so good. <laughs> Sorry, sorry to put you on the spot with a full mouth. <laughs> so unlike the weekend where they had hot crab legs and cold crab legs, this time they only have cold, but check this out. The Wind Buffet must have like proprietary technology or something <laughs> because all the other buffets don't cut them like this and they're so much easier to eat like this. They'll just cut a slit in it so you can break it at the other buffets typically. Both nights, so good. And it was like almost unbelievable how every new thing I tried, I was like, this is the best ever. The best ever of the version of it that I've ever tried. Like, the best red curry, the best, like, airline chicken. And I was loading bar. up on sushi and other Asian food, and it was so, so good. Normally, I avoid sushi at all costs on a buffet, mm -hmm. but oh my goodness, it was good. <laughs> Whoever the head chef is, props to you, man, mm -hmm. or woman. The wind gave me $10 for my birthday. I had read online that it had to be within 48 hours of your birthday, unlike the MGM properties that will do it within a week before or a week after. So yeah, I have 10 bucks here. All right. Come on. All right. Oh, we got birds all the way across. All right. First spin. Alright, so the $10 of free play turned into $15.50 cash. These birthday things were really good to me today. Yeah. Uh, so. It should be your birthday every day. And now I'm thinking, why aren't we coming here for my birthday? It's so I know. profitable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally stuffed after that buffet. But another birthday thing I had was Grimaldi's Pizza. If you go on Grimaldi's website and sign up, they'll send you a free pizza certificate for your birthday month. So I can use it anytime this month. But this is what in Venetian? I think it's a Palazzo. Oh, Palazzo, yeah. They might have another location on this trip, I'm not sure. But we were gonna do that today, but I'm too full. There's no way I'm eating that. No way. I mean, it's interesting that generally when we come into Vegas, we have like a really big breakfast and a really big dinner. We uh -huh. only have two meals. Yeah. Three. While we're sitting here for my birthday free play, we also got two more free drinks. Cheers. Cheers. Gin Fizz and you got decaf and Bailey's. Decaf and Bailey's. It's the only thing better than Bailey's and coffee is Bailey's and decaf coffee. So you're not up all night. So two more dollars for tips. I think we're gonna head back to our uh, Taiwanese Mexican. tickling tub. Uh, yes, our, our Mexican meddling moat. <laughs> Mexican meditation moat. Meditation moat. Yes. <laughs> p.m. I turned into a gremlin. Um, basically I'm a granny and can't really stay up that late. We did stay up until like midnight I think. But that's only because I took a bath in the uh, Brazilian bare booty bath. Anyway, we took a, na a nice bath. It was very relaxing but ultimately we did not spend our whole budget. Like we tried as hard as we did but I we just have so much trouble spending a lot of money in Vegas because we know all these tricks. So hopefully this 
this video helped you out to be able to have so much fun without blowing your budget or maybe even coming in under budget. Be sure to check out the end screen in just a moment here where we'll have a playlist of all of our Vegas videos. Which includes so, so many more money, money saving tips and just like how to have a good time while you're here. Uh -huh. Hopefully this video helped you out. Please consider subscribing to our channel to see more Vegas videos that we release and also videos about our life in traveling Mexico. And one more thing. Okay. Gong that bell so you will be the first to be notified the next time we release a new video. And we'll see you soon.